Hello students, welcome to Short Business Classes and in this video I am solving the past year's questions of ISMSQE. So this question is the value of a logarithmic series they have given and we have to find the value anyway. So if we just proceed after this step, so this is a log 2 and the base will be 2 square, log 2 base will be 2 cube and uh, log 2 base will be 2 to the power 4 in that way it goes on and on, on so this is half log 2 base 2 1 by 3 log 2 base 2 plus 1 by 4 log 2 base 2 in that way it goes on so half you can take common and every time it is 1 this is 1 minus the series of log 2 to the base e so simply the answer in this case it's B. Okay, next question I'm proceeding now. So the function maximum where x is a real number. Okay, so now they have given 1x and x square. So fx equal to, if we just proceed, 1 and x square to values. So this is only possible when this lies between this and this one is anything otherwise. So here we just put into the functional structure. So this will give you this, this to this is a flat function. Okay, so here by taking a look into the structure. So here we do not have an exactly discontinuity point. So the function is actually continuous. Now, in the next question, they have given a harmonic progression. The harmonic mean formula we know for 2 it is 2xy by x plus y, for 3 it is 3xyz by xy plus yz plus zx in that way. So, here uh, we know that 1 by x plus 1 by z equal to 2 by y, where x, y, z are in harmonic progression. So, we just uh, put this thing here. And so x minus y by y minus z equal to x by z. Just a little bit of changing. So this portion gives you to C as an answer. Next is a functional question here. fx equal to x by 1 plus more x. So simply this has two values. Let me change the color. It becomes monotonous with the same color. Uh, so fx equal to x1 minus x and x1 plus x. So this is when x negative, this is when x positive. So if we just put a limit of fx into this, so limit x tends to 0 plus fx, limit x tends to 0 minus fx equal to f of 0, that is 0. And in the second part, limit x tends, h tends to 0 plus so this is fh minus f0 by h, so that is also 1. So fx is continuous differentiable everywhere in the given structure, so the option is c. In the next video, I will go and solve some economics-based large questions. Thank you.